G'day, it's Gary here from ECI. In conjunction with BMX Ultra, what we're going to do, we're going to run through a few how-to-do tips. Um, the first one we thought we'd run today is the good old Profile Mini Hub. Now, as you know, there's a lot of different configurations with um, Profile. This one here we've got set up as a, um, as a street hub with a 14mm GDH gun-drilled hollow axle, which is the, the latest axle that Profile has bought out after years of development. One of the fairly new features they've incorporated with this too is an internal um, Allen key hex head um, fitment in the centre there, which means it makes it a lot easier to get the locking nuts off. So what we'll do is we'll strip this down to start with. Um, because we do quite a few of them here, we have sped up the process a little bit by incorporating a couple of sockets. You obviously don't need to do this at home, but um, like I said, we, we do quite a few here. Allen key fits internally into the 14mm GDH axle, which means that then you can just re remove that locking nut um, that holds a cassette driver in. Again, for the purpose of speed for us. So that's, that's now everything's released off of that. It's simply a case of pulling the nine tooth driver off there is a cassette shim that goes in between the internal bearing and the driver bearing. That's a must. It just gives you that little bit of clearance for the pawl so they don't foul up at all. So make sure that you do retain that and replace it. So now to press that out, because we don't want to damage the bearings or anything, what we do is we use an auger press. This auger press, we have dies set up from profile that perfectly match the flanges of the hubs, etc. So everything's supported and there's no damage created. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and just press that 14 mil um, GDH axle out. As you can see, it comes out quite easily. We don't need to use um, uh, the cone or this locking nut, so we put that aside for future reference, and then we're gonna replace it with a lightweight race version, aluminium three-piece axle. Now again, this one presses in via the auger press. Because one bearing is retained in the hub, we replace that outer bearing, so you simply drop that axle in, sit that bearing over it, so it's quite a neat fit, like all profile stuff is. Um, so we don't create any side load at all on the bearing. Again, we've got um, dies and presses supplied from Profile. That fits perfectly over the bearing and the axle sits internally in that. So that allows you to press the outer edges of the bearing and not create any side drag. And then the same way here, that's machined perfectly to fit on the internals there. So all we're gonna be pressing is the actual bearings in but not putting any side load on the bearings. So again, that just goes, sits in the auger press like that. Bring that around. And then that just neatly, as you can see, perfectly presses in. It recesses that so that the outer cone goes on nice and neat. And as you can see, that's smooth already. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and reassemble this hub as a, um, as a race configuration. We'll use Volcano internal mini bolts for this, if I can get them. Probably should have had this set up in advance, but... Okay, so that's, that's the, the bolt there again, just for the purpose of um, us here. Pop those in. So that's how that's set up. With the cassette mechanism on the other side, what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace it with a, a chromoly cassette mechanism for the purpose of race or just larger gearing. Again, don't forget the cassette spacer shim. Pop that in. Now generally this will press straight in. Sometimes you'll need to use some fishing line to hold those poles in just so you can press the cassette mechanism through the ratchet ring. We'll see how that goes. Doesn't look like it's gonna set in. So what I'll do is we'll pause for a sec. I'll just go to a piece of fishing line that I've got set up and we can um, show you how to do that. Okay, thanks to the magic of uh, 
video and editing, we've been able to acquire a piece of fishing line here. Now it seems a funny addition, but what it does, like, like I explained earlier, it does help with holding the poles into the cassette mechanism to, to engage into the uh, ratchet ring. With minis, um, generally, quite often, you can just turn it backwards and it will drop in. With elite drivers, it's imperative that you use a piece of fishing line. Being a six pole driver it, uh, and, and finer ratchet ring, it has a lot of trouble trying to engage if you don't pull those poles in. So what I'll do is I'll show you here, you just hit the, the new cassette mechanism, slide it down till you can just see the poles, don't push it all the way in. I know you're not on the right angle, but we'll zoom in in a sec. Run the fishing line around so it, it presses those poles into the driver. Press it in slightly with your thumb until you feel that it goes in far enough. Without pressing it all the way in, just so you can release the fishing line and then the cassette mechanism drops into place. So as you can see now, that's where it should be. So I'll just show you the cassette shim. How yeah, that goes on there. Then we've got the cassette mechanism, the hub. Keep it all in the one spot. We put the cone spacer there. The mini bolt. Press that into place so that that holds everything in. Take the lock ring off. Now, profile cogs are unique to profile hubs. They run from um, basically nine tooth uni drivers up to uh, 11 tooth uni drivers in both chromo and titanium options. And then the cassette, uh, the cassette cog itself goes from 12 tooth up to 18 tooth. And you can get those in either a standard chromo like this one, you can get it in an elite, which is machined out and it's got a different finish on it. Or you can get it in an alloy for those who want to reduce even more weight. So that's now set up as a race configuration. So we've gone from a 14 mil nine tooth driver simply over to, um, to virtually a race configuration or a female axle configuration without having to change a great deal of things apart from the axle itself. So as you can see, once you've got a profile mini hub, you can virtually set up any axle configuration. There are titanium options, so you can get the 14mm GDH in a titanium option, or you can actually go with titanium bolts. But what we'll do is we'll cover that in another segment. So that's been Gary from Elite and um, Shane behind the camera. So um, hopefully that's helped you with your profile decisions. Cheers.